wasn't gonna be that girl young with a bald head. So I said, people were like, well, why didn't you combine your locks? No, because even if you combine your locks and make them thicker, now you're making them way more thicker on your root because it's just you made your locks thicker, but you didn't make your root thicker. So what I'm do what I did was I just cut my hair. I was like, let my bitch breathe for a minute, let her get herself together because she had, you know, the the locks were heavy. So um now that my hair was back, now these are gonna be thicker locks, as you can see. They're gonna be thicker at the root, so therefore it's gonna be able to hold heavier hair. And that's what I'm doing. And it's parted different. I didn't like the way it was parted at first. The person who first did my hair, it was a guy. He did all the locks going backwards. I like the locks where they just fall everywhere. And that's what I got now. They just, they're gonna fall everywhere instead of every lock going backwards. I didn't like that. So it's just like you learn your locks when you do it. So yeah. Um, yeah, period. Um, so yeah, I don't give a fuck. My face is pretty. I just got me a facial today. That's why she's glowing. So I can rock any hairstyle. I'm not ugly. Beast of fuck. Yeah, me. So um, that's why I cut my hair. That's why I got rid of my locks. And that's why I'm going to do what I want to do with my head and my hair. So don't tell me you want me to wear some braids, bitch. I don't want to walk around with beads all my life at fucking... 40 and 30 years old with beads on my head. Bitch, you got me for that. No. And then I just miss my designs with my locks. I just miss my bun. Oh, I miss putting my hair in a bun. I miss putting my hair in a bun. Put it in a bun. Put it in a bun. Oh, and um, let me tell y'all something. I'm spitting, sorry. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all are, not all of y'all, but the very... Ugh, people, I'm a Gemini. And when y'all, yes, yeah, Stevie Wonder, I'm a Gemini. But when you nag me about something, and I know you, people be like, Zoe, well, your fans love you and you got to do it for your fans. Okay. Well, fans need to learn to respect you too. It, it goes 50 50. The same way y'all got a life and you human. I got a life, and I'm human. So when somebody nags a Gemini, we gonna just get to the point to where we say, fuck it. Like, we'll say fuck it to something and not give a fuck about it. Like, that's how we are. We'll just say, oh, you wanna keep nagging me? Okay, fuck you. Let If I don't post Messy Monday, it's because of a reason. Not because I was trying to be an asshole to y'all or I just didn't want to do it. It's because of a reason. It's a reason why I didn't post it. So when y'all say, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? To me, that's like a fuck you, Zoe. I don't give a fuck what you got going on, you piece of shit. You need to make this motherfucking video because I motherfucking said so. And that's so disrespectful, y'all. I'm going to be grown grown. I don't want to be on YouTube the rest of my life. So let me tell y'all what I got going on today while I couldn't do Messy Monday because yesterday I had to go out and I had to find me some clothes. I had to do this. I had to go get my hair retwisted yesterday. I had a lot I had to do because I'm going to meet up with Cam Newton fine ass today. Oh! I'm going to meet up with Cam Newton fine ass today because he has a TV show that's on BET and I'm going to be on his show today. I'm going to record with him. So if I'm not putting something on YouTube, if I'm not putting something on YouTube, it's for a reason. It's for a reason. And I'm sorry, getting myself together for Cam Newton and BET is way more important than posting somebody else's drama on Missy Monday. I'm sorry. And if you can't understand that, then baby, I don't know what to tell you. I'm trying to get my ass back on TV. I don't want to be on a computer screen for the rest of my life. I want to be in a movie. I want to be on TV. I want to have my own show. And honey, I got goals that I got to reach. Bitch, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry you didn't get messy Monday yesterday, but a bitch gotta get her coin. A bitch gotta get her coin, and a bitch gotta get herself through the door. Hello? I gotta get through that door, honey. I gotta get through that door. I have a goal to reach. 
I got a goal to reach, baby. I got a goal to reach. So I'm going to be filming with Cam Newton fine ass today. I'm so excited because he's so fine. And I'm just ready to see him. <laughs> I'm just ready to see him. I'm be so nervous because I got my, you know, I got my Jada Pinkett, um, my Jada Pinkett, what's that movie she was in with, uh, what's his name? Low Down Dirty Shame. I got my Jada Pinkett Low Down Dirty Shame hairstyle, so I'm real nervous because, you know, I ain't got that hair to swing in front of his face and try to seduce him, so hopefully he, like, bald-headed bitches for right now. My outfit gonna be cute, you know, I got a little slim tight type of pants so my thighs could look good, you know, he an athlete, so they like, you know, women who built up kind of good, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so stupid. So, I'm a little nervous. I met him once before. I met him once before. Y'all, he's so tall. Y'all, that man is tall and fine. I didn't know somebody could be that fine. Cam Newton is fine. Like, tall, his teeth, his skin. He got these big hands, the way he smell. <sighs> uh, shalom. Salam. What's that mean? Asalaamu Alaikum. So I came with you. Yeah, girl, I'm a little nervous, but you know, I'm gonna I'm take me a little shot before I go, loosen me up, you know what I'm saying? Make this cat purr like it's a um a, a Mustang. So I'm gonna pooch up in it like it's a motherfucking Maserati, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up in it like this pussy is a Maserati, honey. She gonna be purring when I walk through that door. He gonna be like, what's that, my puss? Hello? He gonna hear me coming, girl. He gonna hear me coming, girl. I'ma bat my eyes like that. He gonna say, "What you looking at, you nigga?" <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? But uh, yeah, period. Let me pull over y'all. But yes, if I don't just just to reiterate, if I don't post on Monday, trust me, it's a reason. It's a reason. It is always a reason if I don't post. Either I'm sick, I got a money move going on. Or if Messy Monday was just really big, so I'm going to post it on Tuesday. You know, it's always a reason. But, um, yeah, I got my hair did today. Or oh, yesterday, and I got my facial did. I got me the um diamond facial. Ain't she cute? Is she just glowing, girl? Oh, my God. So, I'm thinking about getting this tightener thing for my skin. Because y'all told me don't. Because I was going to get fillers. But y'all told me to not get fillers so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to um get this skin tightening thing where it just tightens your skin so yeah okay y'all so I, then i gotta get my laser hair march the third because my hair is growing back and i can kind of see how it's a little dark around here because i haven't got my facial hair cut in like months so it's kind of getting dark again around here. So I'm gonna get my um, laser hair on March the third because, bitch, we gotta have an all-even skin tone. I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do another VI chemical peel too. It's about that time. It's about that time. Laser hair, girl. I've been getting laser hair. If you saying no to laser hair, girl, you far behind. I've been getting laser hair, girl. Um, no, you gonna look dumb like Kurt, bitch. Y'all about stupid as hell. I've been get, I've been getting laser hair for the past three months. Um, no, for the past year. Y'all is so dumb. <laughs> Y'all is so dumb. I have been getting laser hair for the past year, bitch. I used to grow hair. If this, how I know these are new people. Um. You got facial hair trying to uh, act gay. Oh, child, look. Watch this. It's going to be a bitch who's who going to be scared. Watch out. It'll always be the niggas who want to talk shit, but don't even want to come in your life. Watch this. Um, 
they should have a remover for the past year, honey. Y'all really, because I have, and, the, and this is why I say, y'all be, some people talk too much and don't know why people do certain things. I see it, this boy, he was talking all this shit, 24, um, 24K, keep on. And then he don't want to go live because he's the pussy, but he called me gay. See, he declined me, but I'm the one that's gay, but now he don't want to talk. So I guess you the pussy. Let's try you one more time and see if you're going to talk because you had so much to say in the comments. But when I ask you to be a man, now you scared. Let's try it one more time. Let's ask him one more time to come up here since he had, oh, he declined me three times. Well, you ain't got shit to say to me. You the faggot. Okay. So, um, the reason I cut my facial hair off is because I used to get really bad hair bumps. Really, 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 really bad hair bumps. Um, and y'all ain't finna talk about me. So that's what I'm saying. That's why I always tell people, don't live to please people. Live to please yourself. Because if I would worry about people saying, ooh, don't get your hair like that, Zoe, because now you're going to like Kurt Franklin. Then I'd be walking around with all these hair bumps. Ooh, look at his dirty ass skin. All them hair bumps and pizza bruises up under his neck. So do you never live to please people. Do what you want to do with yourself and your body because nobody knows what's going on in your life and why you have to do what you got to do or if you're not just happy with the way you look because I used to have really bad hair bumps. But now, bitch, I can get up under this camera. I can go like this and be confident as hell because my razor, my hair bumps were so bad because I have really curly hair. And so it would go back in my skin and it was horrible. And you, I got tired of having to pop them out. And then when you pop them out and you pull them, then sometimes it'll leave um, blemishes on your skin because you got to pop them out um, and stuff like that. So that's why I got laser hair all right here and all right here because I used to get really, really, really bad hair bumps. Really bad. And I'm like, bitch, you got to be on TV. That's when I was on Wildin' Out. And I'm like, bitch, you got to be on TV. And they're not going to zoom that camera in on me, Miss Thing. And you got hair bumps up under your neck <laughs> trying to hide it with the foundation and stuff. You can still see it. Nothing. No, ma'am. And then, um, well, I'm not explaining. I'm helping others. God, I want to ask you to help give me patience. Continue to give me patience. Continue to give me understanding that everybody isn't meant to be in the position to lead. And sometimes they don't understand when they always say, you ain't got to explain yourself to people. It's not explaining. It's just there's some people in this world who everybody's not meant to be a leader. Some people are meant to be that follower for the leader who has the mind. So there might be somebody in my broadcast who does suffer from hair bumps. So by me telling my story, lets them know, oh, maybe I can go get me a laser hair removal because I've been sitting here trying to figure out how can I get rid of my hair bumps. So it's not explaining. It's just teaching people to understand and then motivating other people who don't have that motivation or motivational friends because they don't know how to speak to other people because everybody's not verbal. Everybody don't know how to communicate. Thank you, Jesus, because you helped me calm down just now because I didn't want to snap her because she wasn't trying to be mean when she said, why are you explaining yourself? She wasn't being mean. She was just trying to tell me, don't explain, but I'm letting her know it's not explaining. It's just helping those who don't get it or helping those who need to know or get that push to go do what they need to do. So thank you for just giving me patience, 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 patience. You working with me still. I'm not there, but I'm trying to get there. Thank you. I'm back. <laughs> I had to have a one-on-one -on -one time with Jesus because sometimes you get lost and you don't want... Because I know when I be watching people on live sometimes and they talk to their followers really mean, I be like, oh, damn, they so mean to their followers. So I try to make sure... Or their supporters. So I try to make sure I'm not mean to y'all unless I'm in a jokingly manner when I'm acting stupid. Because sometimes me talking to y'all can seem kind of like mean at times. But I'm really just joking. 
So I don't want y'all to think I was being mean. So that's why I was like, let me calm down, go talk to God, because I don't want her to think I was mad at her, because, you know, I'm really not a mean person. I'm really, really, really not a mean person. I'm not. I may have a aggressive, is it aggressive demeanor? I don't know all the good words to say. I don't really read a lot, but I listen a lot. <laughs> oh, I don't, I have an aggressive personality. And people may take it as me being like a bitch or me being like an asshole when really it's just really me. It's really just me. I'm not being mean at all. Like I can cuss you out and then bitch, I want to hang out and go have fun the same day. And it's like, damn, bitch, you just cussed me out. Oh, girl, you still mad about that? <laughs> <laughs> that was, we did that and moved on. That's how I am. Yeah, Tom. We did that and moved on. Like, that's how I am. Unless I don't like you. Now, when I don't like you and I say something and we fall out, then, bitch, you don't need to talk to me for a good month or two. A good month or two, don't say shit to me because, baby, you might say the wrong thing and get slapped in your face. But if I'm cool with you, yeah, after I done cussed you out or you done cussed me out and we done had our say-so, girl, I'm good. Like, three hours later, girl, I'm okay. I am okay. I am okay. Y'all, my head is... That, I got a big head. The one thing I would change about myself is shaving down my forehead. I got a big forehead. Like, it sticks out. I got a big forehead. <laughs> you can't hear me? Oh, shit. All right, y'all. Well, let me get ready to go because I have to go relax, chill, um, yeah, and just get myself ready for cam because I'm going to be... I'm going to be so shy. Um... I see the starter locks. Get out of my business. <laughs> Get out of my business. Where are you, star? There's no mess to Monday. <laughs> yeah, is it shaking yet? Is it shaking? Not yet. Okay. I'm sorry. I can wait. Wait a minute. Girl, I'm going to break my neck trying to shake, girl. Period. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if she got a bounce. Trying to see if she got a bounce, girl. Uh, stop playing with me. Uh, I see the wiggle, wiggle. Right? <laughs> Stiff well. Don't play with her. It's not. Okay, friend. I'll give it like a couple of more months, friend. Check back in on May 31st on my birthday. Y'all is stupid. Okay, for real, let me go. I love y'all. <sighs> Wish me luck today. Oh, God. Jeez. Let me go. Look at my hair. What have I done? Look at <laughs>